In this video, we're going to examine solubility equilibria. Now, equilibrium is something that we've learned about before. Let's say we have a beaker of water, and inside that beaker, we have some salt at the bottom, maybe just some sodium chloride. You know that the solid will begin to dissolve, and it will enter the aqueous phase. So what we have is sodium chloride as a solid, that's this stuff here at the bottom, is dissolving, and it's making sodium ions and chloride ions, and we would see them um, floating around here in the picture. Now, if we waited a little bit longer, um, we would see that the salt in the bottom, um, the mass decreased. Well, that's because more of it is dissolving. In fact, we also see this down arrow here, too. Um, this down arrow indicates that some of these salt ions here are re-entering the crystal. So here's what we have. Predominantly, we have solid sodium chloride dissolving to make these two ions. But what we also have are these ions here are coming together and recrystallizing or re um, rejoining the crystal. So we have sodium chloride breaking apart, and we have these ions coming back together. Both of them are occurring, but it looks like the forward reaction going left to right is occurring more. And in this next picture, after we've reached equilibrium, what we have is these arrows are of equal length. That means the rate at which salt is leaving is equal to the rate at which the ions are recrystallizing. So I've drawn these arrows equal length to show that the rate of dissolving is equal to the rate of crystallization. So both of these things are happening. Now, if we were to look at this beaker with the unaided eye, it would look like the salt that was at the bottom was staying at the bottom. And I don't know that we'd see the salt in here, um, but we would understand that it was dissolved. Um, so even though it looks like a static process, it's, it's really a dynamic process. And we have um, both salt leaving the crystal and salt entering the crystal going on at the same time. It's just on the microscopic level, and we don't see it. So at equilibrium, that's a condition where the forward reaction and the reverse reaction occur at the same rate. Now, I've underlined the word rate because students often believe that the amount of solid salt is equal to the amount of dissolved salt. That is not the case. What is equal is the rate at which sodium chloride solid breaks apart and which sodium and chloride ion return to the crystal. So the rate going left to right and right to left is the same. So once again, here's the important takeaway for equilibrium. The rate of dissolving is equal to the rate of crystallization.